Symptoms of Legionnaire's Disease Legionnaire's disease usually develops 2 to 10 days after exposure to Legionella bacteria. This is the time it takes before symptoms of the illness appear after being exposed to the bacteria. Legionnaire's disease can be hard to diagnose because its symptoms are similar to other types of pneumonia and it often looks the same on a chest X-ray. Patients with Legionnaire's disease usually develop a fever, chills, and a cough. The cough may either be dry or produce sputum. Some patients with Legionnaire's disease also have muscle aches, headache, tiredness, loss of appetite, and occasionally diarrhea. Legionnaire's disease can cause a severe pneumonia, seriously affect breathing, even lead to respiratory failure and adult respiratory distress syndrome ARDS. In some cases, the heart rate is slower than expected for the degree of fever. There are no specific symptoms that directly identify Legionnaire's pneumonia. Legionnaire's pneumonia presents in a manner similar to chlamydia pneumonia and mycoplasma pneumonia, so-called atypical pneumonias. These are referred to as atypical because the associated symptoms and signs are unlike typical pneumonia, as characterized by streptococcus pneumonia, which involves high, spiking fevers, sudden onset, cough, and purulent sputum and often chest pain and a localized infiltrate on chest x-ray. It include following signs and symptoms. Headache. Muscle pain. Chills. Fever. Cough, which may bring up mucus and sometimes blood. Shortness of breath. Chest pain. Gastrointestinal symptoms, such as nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Confusion or other mental changes. Although Legionnaire's disease primarily affects the lungs, it occasionally can cause infections in wounds and in other parts of the body, including the heart. A mild form of Legionnaire's disease known as Pontiac fever may produce signs and symptoms including fever, chills, headache and muscle aches. Pontiac fever doesn't infect your lungs, and symptoms usually clear within 2 to 5 days. People with Pontiac fever experience a self-limiting influenza-like illness by definition and do not have pneumonia.